Welcome back. It's always great on Fridays because we get to visit with Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. Yeah. How are you? It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Ow. By the way, guys, Jessica Miller and I were just having a discussion on if people still raise the roof or not. Do we? Yes. Did, I not, it. did <laughs> I not just raise the roof? Yes. From front of you? We're so glad. Okay. <laughs> we are in. Raise the roof. You know, guys, there are some traditions that, you know, we must continue and uphold for the future generations. And <laughs> that's <laughs> one of them. Baby. They may roll their yeah. eyes, but it's fine. But it's fine. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Do you know what? We're raising the roof here because if you call or text, 417-865-0987. You can make a request. Yep. And we answer the phone oh. and we answer text. How about that? That's how smart mm -hmm. we are. We know how to answer it. Yeah. And we know how to do is, it. Some places don't, yeah, you, but we do. And we're if you you know what song when you get in your car and you just want to rock on. Right. What oh. is that song? Yeah, driving songs is the theme of this morning's Friday free for all. We do it every Friday, take a bunch of requests and it's what we're doing this morning, Sally. Okay, I already have one then. I have oh. a song for you. Okay. I, I okay. thought at Hold first on. you said what? Hold on, Jeremy. What? Is it Celine Dion? It better not be oh, a sappy yeah. crying song. Yeah. <laughs> it is not a sappy crying song. Okay, we need a fun okay. song for Friday. But you know what's funny yeah. is I thought you guys said drive in, like going to a drive in. <laughs> No, driving. No, driving. So yeah. it made me think of the remake that Celine Dion did of I Drove I All Night. It. I knew it. Well, that's a good one. There's drive right in the title. Uh, so, See? Yeah. I drove uh, all night to get to you. Boom, 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 uh -huh. boom. I love that song. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, Kevin, what's yours? My driving song? Yeah. Man, there are so many of them. Um, I, you know, we, we talked to uh, Jen uh, over there earlier, and she said life is a highway, and that's pretty uh -huh. good. I was like just that. thinking of that one. That's good. You know, uh -huh. but... It's hard to beat Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run, you know, revving it up, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, a lot of his songs are about driving. And uh, how about the Beatles, Drive My Car, you know? Oh, That's baby, a good one. can drive my car. Yeah. And then um, Kevin hates it when I bring up Tom Cruise, but I'm going to. It's not that I hate it. It's just ad nauseum. Every <laughs> day's <laughs> thunder. Uh, Tom Cruise, and then uh, it was Rowdy Piper was the character. Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise. Yeah. And they, were, they were in rental cars. They couldn't even get to their meeting without having a race in the rental car because they were such opposers. And it was to Give Me Some Lovin' by uh, and that's Edgar, yeah. Edgar Winter Group. And Give Me Some Lovin' Spencer Davis. Group. Spencer Davis. Yes. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, what's your driving song? Well, it's not really driving, it's more about dancing. But okay. I, I, Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. Like, oh, I feel like your right. window's down and just like blaring. You can dance in your car. That's yeah. a good one. I mean, our, the first request we took this morning was for the Bee Gees. And, uh, uh, that's good. Oh, yeah, I thought so. of my second favorite drive, driving song. Uh, okay. Wind, Wind Beneath My Wings, Bette Midler. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, Gosh. that's a heavy one. Listen, I mean, you I got places you. to go. If you're going to do the speed limit, you need to crank it up a little bit. Jeremy. That's like you're crying and driving. I was, ju I was just kidding, guys, because I know how Chris loves that. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, we've got, there's a few uh, Beach Boys I get around was a big one. Uh, War, Lowrider, we just played it. And coming up, we got a request for Henny Loggins, I'm all right. That's, oh. oh, that's a good one. I That's love Caddyshack, right? Caddyshack. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We're also talking today about all inclusive vacations and whether they're worth it or not. Yeah. You guys been on one? You guys have ever done that? Have you? Yes. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Here's it. Let's start with this. I have not, but oh. I really want to. So mm -hmm. I like this question. And Jessica, you have. So what's your experience? My only thing I'll say is worth it, except the. Drinks are watered down. Food is always subpar. Really? What do you think? Mm. Yeah. Well, that's that's something to consider. I know my wife and I are trying to figure out where to take the kids, and we, we do a vacation every every summer. We try to. We had a timeshare, and that was a deal. I mean, there's you know we were getting a great deal on it, and problem is that the hurricane down in Fort Myers, it's mm. gone. Oh no. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so we're trying to figure something out that's affordable. So we're looking into this. Hey. I know Jeremy has experience with mine was our honeymoon cruise. Mm -hmm. Those are, you know, yeah. quasi all inclusive because you know exactly what you're going to have to pay for yeah. and what you're not. 
Yeah. And um, I did enjoy that, but I, I recommend for us anyway, uh, like the four night, five day instead of the longer one. But yeah. I would like to try a land all inclusive for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. By the way, producer Jake just said in uh, my ear that he and his crystal wife, they did their honeymoon and their wedding all inclusive and they loved it. Ooh, okay. I can't have say to where. It. I have to try it yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Hey, Jake, you need to call me, man. Give me a buzz. Let me know what's up. Jake, he needs a recommendation, guys. Yeah. He will call you. I've always wanted to do, like, okay. and again, I've not done it, but the ones you see the, the commercials for all the time mm -hmm. are, like, the sandals resorts. Yeah. You, you see yeah. It looks yeah. great on the commercial. Or, like, Apple. Well, it, looks like, it looks like somebody's getting lucky on the commercial. <laughs> I know that we all yeah. want to go to the all-inclusive White Lotus. Oh, oh yeah. I would be there yeah. in a second. Hey, guys, right. we only have 10 seconds. What did you want to talk about for next week? Next, next week, two weeks straight, March Movie Madness. We're going to get it on. It's my bracket against hers. We'll see who wins. And you can vote. Oh, awesome, guys. Well, hey, have a fantastic weekend. Always great to see you guys. And we'll see you back here you next too. week. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. All right. Hey, guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, do you, uh, we're going to do a Mass Singer recap, OK? OK. We love the Mass Singer. Find out who was sent home this week when we come back. No? Oh, I like the song. Bum, bum, bum.